Twitch and then the music. Here we go. Here we go. There's us. You gotta stop. Does Remember when you fade out? You gotta fade oh, out. I have to click both. So I have to click the fade and then I also have to click pause. Okay, got it. We're doing We'll great. get it one we're, day. One day. One when day. Not here, we're gonna get it. It's also funny that he still has not given me the proper instructions of how to do it. So, you know, but I think it's fun. I think it's witty. I think it's a little lighthearted moment to start the show with. Oh, mm-hmm. look who's in the chat right now. Boys Love Ooh. RJ is in the oh. chat dragging you for that. Dang. I mean, this is not a drag, but sure. I think it's a... When RJ says girl, it's I, powerful. I feel means, it in my soul. Yeah. Like Power. when... <laughs> it's the most judgmental... Girl. 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 Well, Jessica's here. But Jessica. also, speaking yeah. of Jessica's here, Jessica's coming. Sabrina Breer, she's going to be a guest oh star on Abbott Elementary. So here's my, like, this is what who I think about that? TikTokers. You know her. Sabrina she's Bre- the one who plays she's the, oh. the best friend. Like, oh, she does the POV. Your videos. boyfriend's coming. Oh, I thought it was the just one with the incredible the New Yorker. So there are those Casey, kinds of TikTokers, this is so and then there's like because I know you know who we're talking about. <laughs> you do. You absolutely have to know who she is, Sabrina I'm gonna, Breyer. I'm going to share. I'm going to the girls share that her. know it know it, and the girls that don't. But like, know. okay, so what do we think? All over my TikTok is the clip of Billie Eilish from <laughs> the People's Choice Awards this weekend on Sunday. Of her being like, wow, there are a lot of TikTokers here. Because that is, like, every single award show, they have invited these TikTokers. This girl. You've seen her. This girl, Casey. I don't know her. Casey. I don't understand how you have had an online experience that is enough similar to me and Miranda's that you have entirely missed this girl. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm going to send my, you her best, her greatest works. I promise you. Okay. Best of. And yeah. She is yeah. so funny to me. It's a very she specific type of comedy. Sorry no, for agree. interrupting Miranda. Sorry. No, I was just, what like, it's just wild to me. And like the People's Choice Awards, I absolutely get inviting like very famous TikTokers with whatever. Inviting these fools to the Grammys. To the Oscars? What are we doing? What are we doing? And like these people like harass the celebrities. Like there's one girl specifically I remember like shouting out to Billie Eilish the last award show or whatever. And I think Billie was like scared that she was there again. Like, I don't know. Why yeah. is Chris Olsen fully shirtless at the People's Choice Awards? And people this people were not... eating the look up. They loved Which it. Which is weird because I don't think the suit was a good color that complimented him well. His skin tone, yeah. Thank you. Honestly, thank you, Jessica, for the hair compliment. I need to get a haircut. Um, but thank you. Maybe Miranda's you know, hair because... is looking looking great. I love I love the thank darkerness. Yeah, let's really focus in on. Oh, holy let's hell, focus on Miranda's hair this week. Oh, was it? Oh, thank you. Wow. Wow. She's so darker. Gorgeous. Yeah, we got rid of my blonde. I mean, it still has some dimension, but yeah, not. It's still lifeless and dead. Yeah. We got yeah. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Got it. My hair's my up. hair's just wet, but you can't really tell as much. That's, now yeah, that's the thing like with dark hair. To. You can't Not tell like if she's used to. Fully you might just think hair she's wet. oily. Wow. 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 I'm wearing what my Christopher <laughs> Robin sweater today, um, just because it's yellow. That's the only reason I call it my Christopher Robin sweater. It was it's so ten dollars at you, Primark. Oh, wow. clearance, baby. 
Because winter's Plants. done. You know how winter's done? Look at the window. Wow. It's open. Window behind it's open. open. It's I, 50. I walked outside today. It's going to be 70 degrees on Monday. Holy like, hell. But also the fact that it's been above 50 for like the past three days. And there's still snow outside. Really? What are Yes. It will not fully when, melt. When was the last snow? We got snow on thir- last Thursday. Oh, I guess we got a couple flurries like last Friday because I was like on the parking lot at the gym and I was like. Yeah, it was like we got back really late from Punta Cana on Valentine's evening. We, we Our flight was delayed. It was a whole thing. Our um, plane tried to land twice and she said we got 50 yards from the ground and she said no. And we went back up and it was horrifying yeah apparently it was like really windy and the pilot was like we have like four planes trying to land right now and jace was like because he's had this happen before where they're trying to land in des moines and can't and he gets diverted to omaha so jace is like freaking out and like convinced we are not going to land because what's that like like a two two three hour drive it's a two hour yeah a little less than two hour drive my god but yeah, so that was scary. But it was like we got home at maybe like 1230 and at 7 a.m. woke up to like three inches on the ground. I was like, oh, cool. That's super. Punta Cana. Punta Cana. How was your trip, Miranda? Just the oversights is great. Unless you, know, you want to go into full deets. You're more no, than welcome. I mean, full deets. And I was going to talk about this later. Full. You, what, I don't even know what the full deets are. When you go, I don't know. It was hot. She's it was a, beautiful. It was, she was an all inclusive. Yes, I can't remember. Okay. Yeah, yes, yeah. an all inclusive. I got fried the first day. We, which close friends, she saw that sunburn. I posted that close friend sunburn, and Mama, I did not know if I was going to survive that sunburn after day one. It was so. It was so painful. Like, and I must have known that I was going to get sunburned because I packed with me my basin sun butter. Which, if you do not have, she is the moment. Like, she is so iconic. She has healed all of my sunburns for the past however many years. I just want to give yeah. people a live footage of what Miranda looked like. Um, <laughs> yeah. And the thing about the sunburn is it was not a full coverage sunburn. It was patchy. So it was both of my knees. It was my left foot. It was my oh. right oh. hip and my right chest area. So you can it say, was. You can say breast. It's fine. But it wasn't fully the breast. It was like the my pec, my right pec. Oh yes, you know, like up here. Working out. Um, yeah, all those chest presses and everything. Um, so it, it was really, truly awful. Honestly, um, I didn't like. I could not you walk. You still I look a little sunburnt around your face. Oh, I no, I have full cut. Like it is. Yes, and I was like, and I even like imagine two thousand. 11 Miranda going to Punta Cana where she's putting baby oil on this bitch. No, like I was reapplying SBF every like hour I felt and I still got fried. So SPF Casey what, 15? Um 50 on the face and I only had 30 for the rest, which I usually try and go at least a little You lied to me. You t- told me you had SPF 50 all over. I didn't. Wow, wow, yes, yes, let's get into this. You let's lied. Get into this. I you're a liar. You're Honestly, a liar. Casey, I don't even remember telling you that. <laughs> I rem- I asked. This is a little mean girls but no, here. But I don't. Uh-huh. Let's screen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bitch. She doesn't want to go out tonight. <sighs> anyway. Sorry. Anyways, I I've been looking about up. the SPF. I've been looking up the SPFs already. And yeah, we're going for 70 to 100. Yeah. And you, ha- th- I think the thing is you have to reapply often. Yeah. It, it's, the bottle, I think, She's, says once every two. But, like, it, I think it's also, like, once you start sweating, you're supposed to reapply. Yeah, it's... Or if you touch water. If you even drink you touch water. touch grass. If you touch grass, you touch water. Touch grass, bitch. Yeah, <laughs> no, it... Touch sand. Bitch. Touch some sand. Was the sand yeah. beautiful? Was it, like, white? Perfect, Honestly, pristine. I was on the beach for a total of maybe like a minute and a half. It was it was 
it's the re- the resort is like they the their pools were incredible. Oh, like the pool. it was a pool situation. It, it was not it was a, a pool vacation. I've and heard the 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 Punta Cana waters are pretty choppy. Like it's yeah, not they, like like she she go. oceans like yeah. It's the morning She's and like you girl. you get that you mm-hmm. get that like nice ambiance of her, which is really all you want. Like you can walk out there and see her, but it's not yeah, it's not the vibe. It's not like when we were in Turks and Caicos and the water was like crystal clear mm-hmm. and like super beautiful mm-hmm. beaches. Mm-hmm. But that's honest. I, we know I don't go into open ocean. I don't touch that nope. shit. So it was that's fine the, by that's me. That's for the creatures of the sea. And Ariel. that is not that's for not me. For me, not for no. me. Um, but I was very happy with the pool situation. That oh, I going. do. I do have a question for you about Punta Cana all inclusives. Just some of my own research that yes. I have a question for. Because the listeners know you're soon going to Punta. I'm Cana soon as well. going. Mm-hmm. What? What is going to be my soda situation there? Casey, that is, is there a great a- question. And I was waiting to talk. On, I was going to text in the group chat. And I was like, no, no, no. We'll talk about this I, on the pod. I mean, it's been on the... Wait, I girl, almost put it in a group in the chat. because It is you a Pepsi situation. They do... So, yep. It is a... Well, they have... I think, like, at the airport I saw... My resort specifically was a Pepsi situation. At the airport, I did see that they had Coca Cola. Oh, see, Adam is repping. Oh. I'm happy to um, happy to be drinking Pepsi. But today. they did they did have Diet Pepsi at the resort. Okay, so did noting they have Pepsi Wild that, Cherry. And I did not. That's not something I asked for. Of all oh. the beverages that I drank, it, I did not ask for a Pepsi Wild Cherry. Well, you're not um, my family then. Nope, I'm not. I am not. <laughs> um, also, something to note: they don't have lemons there it's not something that they what they have limes they have limes yeah but they don't have lemons that's so oh, interesting what, what does yeah. that mean I, it's just not a fruit that like, grows just in like dominican a, like a garnish yeah. lemon or like yeah there's no lemon no lemonade no lemons or at least at our wow. resort like i will say i think one of us got a lime at one point and it was like this big like they had to like go out i don't even oh, know where sure. they found it but it was not like easy the key to lime across. limes that are just like poof. sure yeah, yeah giant so but yeah casey i would if you're i would check a bag and throw a couple diet cokes in there you know oh i have to do a a real housewives yep just yeah. just a suitcase of diet coke and that's you do. That's just something you have to do. It's just a, unless you want to deal with Pepsi. Yeah. Is that everywhere you think? I mean, like. I th- it, you're not going to find a Diet Coke anywhere. I can tell you that right now. I can tell even, you hand. Nope. I can tell you right now you are not going to find a Diet Coke anywhere. What the hell? <laughs> Casey is concerned. Casey literally just like, cannot uh, travel out of the, the United States. That is just the, not in the cards for you. What's the point of going? <laughs> Casey's pronouns are USA. <laughs> <laughs> that is oh, so God. I'm going to have to spend like $50 at the airport, I guess. On you get a check cooks. bag with Delta. Check the whole bag with two liters. I'm checking it with other stuff too. No, I can't. I, put I can't. It in a carry on. I cannot be checking Diet Coke. Then, girl, It'll, do you are, is the insinuation that you are too good to check Diet Coke onto a flight? Because I Casey. readily disagree with that. That's yes. that's why you need a check bag for yes. you to check Diet Coke and sunscreen. Yes. And yeah. Sunscreen. It's 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 for the sunscreen mostly. Yeah. You got to get that Costco tub of sunscreen. The, yeah. Like, where or, it has the pump. Uh-huh. Pump. Well, yeah, be- because we're in charge of getting it for the whole family. Because none of their asses are apparently checking a fucking bag. Oh, that's Jesus. not your... That's no, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, it is no, not your, no. It is not your job to do anything. Wait, no. Can I ask a question? Your family listens to this, right? But it's not her Whose family's going? Who's? Wait, whose family's going? Uh, Joe, not mine. Joe's family. Yeah. Okay. Joe's family doesn't listen to this. Right? No. Okay. So make sure. No, they're our biggest. Yeah, they're our biggest supporters. 
<laughs> they, they they donate regularly. They're uh uh-huh, they're every they're they're on their every own week tier on in the Twitch. Yeah. Uh shout off if you're yeah, shout off in the chat if you are Joe's family. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know. Anybody going once? Anybody? Going twice. Um what 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 paraphernalia do you have to bring for the family? That's my question. On behalf of just sunscreen. That's it. And okay, so Jason and I were there for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, four nights. We went through over a bottle of sunscreen between the two of us. Yeah. So I would say one bottle per person, to be honest. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Well, when are you going? But how about you tell March? them that? April. How about you just oh, pack April. enough for yourself? And guess what? The resort sells sunscreen. And their asses can buy it. How's that? I yeah. You could I mean, even do an extra one bottle. Yeah, sure. If you want to, I'd be like, oh. oh, I do have a little bit extra. Right. You all can share this one bottle. I will have <laughs> me and, like, and Joe supply. Boat. I will have me and Joe supply, and then we'll have like a bottle for the family, and then they can figure it the fuck out. Are you? Do you? I feel like in this situation, what is truly better? Is it the spray or is it the is it the? That's a great question. That's so I. Uh, that's a good question. It all depends. Do you have a partner? Do you have a buddy who will help you apply your sunscreen? Sunscreen because buddy. that was our issue. Was the spray? I believe is the reason it was so such a patchy burn, is because <laughs> I did not properly. It was like a. I'm spraying at the pool. I'm missing areas. And Jace's yeah. back got burnt. It just, but just like very splotchly. Yeah. So I do think. The cream. The cream, like a good SBF 50 will do it. And some of that like cream where it's like, it fe- it doesn't feel great, but you know it's reflecting. The and you sunlight have. Back at the sun. You have to put it on like at least 15 minutes before yes. your body touches that sunlight. Like yes. you have to let it soak, soak in. in and dry, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, I just got in today. I wish I brought it in here. I brought it. I, I bought a, hell. I bought Continue. a packable, a packable hat. And it's this giant hat that, <laughs> that you, like, like put it into like a little pouch. Yes, it's it's got a little pouch that it pops into, but it's 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 real big and it's it's from Bagu, which is Oh, that's a good brand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She was on sale, so I've got my mm-hmm. little hat. Um That's like this is what I'm, I'm gonna have to do in the Philippines when I go to the Philippines. I'm gonna have to do a bottle of one hundred every yeah. day. Mm-hmm. Didn't they do studies though that over a specific SPF amount, it's not really it's like negligible? Yeah, the difference allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly, but do you want to take the risk? That's the other question. Do you do you want to? But also, isn't it way more expensive the higher up in SPF you go? No. What are you? What's your brand? Are you a copper tone? Are you? Are we doing I, like a standard drugstore? Are we doing a lo- something a little bit more? I like, I like Miss Sunbum. I'm a Sunbum girly. Because sure. she's got she's got the one that you could stick on your, f- your on, scalp. On your That's scalp. Important, important. Uh-huh. She's got a face one. She's got other one, ones. Is that the one with the like Buddha looking one? No. What am I thinking of? No, it, the, they're like the brown bottles. Oh uh-huh. yeah, 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 yeah. What am I thinking? So yeah, about and then, then my my so my new thing that I've been doing lately is I've been wearing sunscreen as oh, makeup. So I got um because on my HSA store, I was like, oh, let's just see what I'm like, I want to buy some new things. And there's this color science face SPF that's going it was like going around TikTok or whatever. And it's a tinted mineral sunscreen. And it like not only does it block out like the sun, but it blocks out blue light. It blocks out shit in the air whatever so mm. i was like great and i love it they also had like little sticks that were like bronzing sticks and blush sticks that were spf 50 oh. so oh. i was just putting that shit on my lips i was putting it's it was my it was my makeup while in punta cana sure. and like it was great i love it clearly so, I mean, clearly it worked it's i'm still bronzed you know <laughs> what i mean still, i'm still glowing red yeah <laughs> no i am still really patchy i don't even know does it hurt? Yeah. Did it hurt to sleep? 
Oh my, it hurt to literally do anything. Like showering I, had to be a nightmare. Oh my God, the shower. I, it was, it, yeah. I could literally do nothing. It was <sighs> so painful. And that was like first day? Yeah. Oof, yeah. So and nice. I did, I went to the gym the next day and I was doing like, I had something with my weight and I was doing, what? what is that thing? Like a, a, what's it called? When you just lift it like this. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's just, and uh, the weight kept grazing my hip. Cause something you would never notice normally. Never. Yeah. And every time I was like, oh my god, oh my god. Every time. And I was like, my but my hips are just so fucking big that I was like, I couldn't like pop it out. And oh guys, I was and it it took until Thursday to like actually not hurt to put anything like over my leg. It was mainly like my hip was the thing that hurt the worst. Um it was it was bad. It was real bad. That sucks. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm glad you feel better somewhat. Yeah. I'm it, it, she's now tan and she's good. So Sure. Yeah. Yeah, 2011 Marina has come back. She's, she's back. She's back. She's, you know? she's back. She's yeah. going to renew a tanning package at a local salon to keep the color. Um, yeah, I think I it's so. going to be great. <laughs> yeah. Just do the um the $20 Planet Fitness deal, then you can go to any Planet Fitness in the oh, country. Yeah, hop in those shower beds. anywhere. Um, use the anywhere. Use the tanning beds. Use wow. the tanning beds. I cannot the believe beds. that they still have the tanning beds in Planet Fitnesses and other gyms. I mean, like they have like the stand up beds. They've got all kinds of beds. Oh, I was a stand up bed bitch back in the day. That was my jam. I love oh, that I, shit. I needed to lay down. I wanted to <laughs> lay like, down. I just want to lay. <laughs> I was like convinced that the the stand up was always like well, the better did coverage. You, did you do this the whole time? Okay, not the whole time, but like occasionally, just like you know. I always laid down, and I had the white underarms because oh yeah, because I didn't care. Stand up because I wasn't in the stand up. But also that I mean tanning beds. We we had the very the, mer- the this well, last episode. Yeah, the the tanning the final destination tanning bed. Did that thwart mm. you at all to stop? Truly iconic. No. No, Miranda has uh. never seen it, and I'm I bet never seen the scene. The only scene from Final Destination I have seen is the log. Yeah, is, the, is the log the is the log one? I feel like it's that's iconic. Just, uh-huh. I think that's a an American rite of passage. Like you could like I think uh, it's along that, with your citizenship I... test, they're like, watch this scene mm-hmm. from Final Destination. Yes. Yeah. It was very formative in the youth of yeah. our day. I still You never I mean, even saw the roller coaster scene. Nope. I've seen it, but oh, Miranda yeah. doesn't watch horror movies. No. No. Even ones that are like not I mean, they are horror, I guess, technically, but they're like re- it's not like it's not like a slasher. Slasher is fate. I have That's seen, the slasher. <laughs> I have seen The Ring. Okay. I'm shocked um, by that. I've never seen yeah. The Ring. Oh, I was like forced to watch it. I have seen... Um, Everybody shout out your favorite Final Destination death. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or your favorite horror movies. Your spooks movies. Um, What's that one with Halle Berry? There's a scene where she like shows up in the middle of the road. Is it Gothica? Is that... Is that a movie? Gothica? Gothica? I, I feel know, like I had to... Like, it sounds like one of Casey's dolls. I gotta be real. <laughs> Her Monster <laughs> High dolls. It's Gothica. Gothica TV movie from 2013. This stars... Oh, no. No, no, no. no. Tracy Toms? No. no. Of Rent fame? I sw- So, I, like, my cousins would always watch it. And while oh, I was, there's like, a, visiting... I'm sorry. There's... You are right. It is Gothica with a K. Oh, okay. It is, uh, it is. I will show you this poster because now that I'm seeing the poster, I remember this like from going. I don't to, like, remember what it was bl- about, but I remember this scene where like Halle Berry is driving or somebody yes, else is driving and Halle Berry is like in the middle of the road. 2003. That checks. Yeah. Yeah. Look at her go. Who else is in it? Robert Downey down Jr. and Penelope Cruz. That is, I do not re- recall wow. either of those people in this I film. I mean, that is, this is Robert Downey Jr. pre, pre, you know what I yeah. mean? Pre, yeah, pre, yeah, pre, pre. Pre-sober? pre Definitely pre, I think pre-sober, definitely pre-Iron Man. I think also pre-sober. Mm. I think he was still, 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, we know. Um. So nobody has one, just free lex at the no, microwave. Yep, just, okay, nobody watched no. the Final Destination Eddie. films. What was your favorite That's Final Destination, it. Casey? What was of Listen, the franchise? It was, was, it was it the... It was Miss Miss Three. It was the girl. Wait, yeah, is it Final Destination Three? That is the... three. Is the tanning bed? Yes. Yeah. That is that is the like because that's also I think three is also the roller coaster, right? Yes, it's the roller coaster. It's the luck of the Irish kid. Um, oh my God, that's right. oh my God, he's in that. Do I have to watch this movie? I would Is watch that what it. we should do in Chicago this weekend? Sure. That's what we should do in, in Chives when I come. We should do oh, every yeah. visit. We should just watch all the Final, Final Destination, Destination. Oh Yeah, God. Yeah. I don't think you should do it when Miranda, after, before Miranda's going to have to like go on a plane. Drive on a road. Drive on or, a road. Oh, yeah, any Alan. kind of travel. Uh-huh. Sure. Okay. Hundred so, ways go to, to Home die. Depot because there are there is like a a Home Depot scene. What do you mean? What happens in Home Depot? Like like a saw. I mean, I mean a final, literal, not saw, but no, a literal saw. No, it's a nail gun. Um, oh, classic. It's, sure. It's like the two goth kids work at the Home Depot. Great. And and um, Mister Luck of the Irish comes to like. Uh, warn them like hey like you guys are in trouble like you need to like you're next on the on the on the pattern you're next on the do not fly list yeah you're next yeah and they're and they're like ha 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 lol and then there's a big accident and and they get nails through their heads because the first one is he has a premonition about the plane crash right and then that's why it all starts. And then the second yeah. one is the second one, the logs. He has the premonition of the logs, and that's what it is. It yeah. the same like person the having the second. premonitions on all these final destinations, or is no, it? No, it's, it's, it's different. different people. It's a different cast uh, every movie. Different wow. cast. Yeah, they don't bring anybody back. They say who's no. working at rate. You know what huh. I mean? Yeah, sure. So yeah. the cheapest numbers imaginable. <laughs> yeah, me and Mary Kate watched all of them recently within the last like two years we were going back definitely during the pandemic i was going back and watching every final destination casey we have an update on your okay. diet coke saga in if you're staying Quintana. the cap the capcon what the fuck is the capcon probably mentioning the serve coke products zero zero though yeah there like There's you no will diet. not find diet coke i'm okay. you will not I don't know. If you yeah, find I will anything. You'll have to suffer through zero cola, which I don't. Which, do you do that? She's she's different. I I, I do. Coke You've zero. dabbled in a zero. Uh huh. <laughs> before before I was fully. Um, it's a Hyatt. It's oh, so it's a Hyatt. So that does give me hope because I bet um, yeah, is, I bet all Hyatts are Coke. Okay, yeah, I I dabble in Miss Coke, but because before I was Miss Diet Coke. I was full fat Coke, yes. and so my my um, journey from full fat Coke to Diet Coke included a stop in Coke Zero Land. Sure, and That's I nice love hybrid. the I love the Cherry Coke Zero. I also oh. don't want to be this person, but I do then believe don't. I do believe <laughs> foreign Coke products taste a little different. So keep that in mind. Great. Yeah, you know it's, it's promoting xenophobia right on the pot. I love it. Yeah. Xenophobic to re- international Coke. <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe the Coke Zero tastes more like Diet Coke. We don't know because well, I think some countries do. Oh, I guess I don't know the how sugar. diet works, but yeah, the sugar is different. Because yeah, the sugar. I think only sugar. America is doing high fructose. Oh, mm-hmm. without no one else on Earth is has is is interested in that energy. Yeah. No one else on so. Earth really grows corn to the extent that America does either, though. So say that you know. Yes, because Iowa. <laughs> yes, Iowa representation. Uh, um, oh, some here we go. Some some reports the fountain cokes taste watered down. And you I know was what? hearing that like most. See that. Yeah, I don't like to see that either. But also, um, I was talking to someone else recently about. S- soda in in an all-inclusive in Punta Cana um, and they said that theirs was only cans like there were no fountains I was going to say we didn't have fountains in our um, resort I would like to say speaking of fountain beverages 
I was recently privy to witness a TikTok in which a man was showing how you fix a fountain machine. So if you're if it's skewing a little bit one way or the other, <gasps> oh, you have someone needs to send that to my chilies. There's two nozzles. In case you don't know how a fountain machine works, there's two nozzles. There's one that pumps out the syrup. And there's one that pumps out the soda water. And they come out at the same time and then they mix in your cup and that's what you get. So they have this, mis- they have this like, it's almost like a beaker, but they, you like test it. You take the front off so that the two don't blend together into one stream. It like comes out as two streams. You put it up and then you pour it. And then basically once you fill it up, the two lines should be equal. So it's like more soda water, less syrup. But basically the idea is like, it should be, in this mach- in this thing, it's it the the lines should be the same. That's how it's supposed to be. And the amount of people who were like, I thought I can't believe they're just scamming us. It's mostly wa- it's mostly soda water. Blah 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 blah. I just am very I'm I am a naturally curious person. So there are some things that I found out over the course of you know my youth and my journey to being an adult that I was like, oh that's interesting, girl. I, I'm realizing as I get older that the fewer and fewer people, I think, are that energy. And so they will then just come up and be like, I don't understand something. So now it's a conspiracy theory that like yeah. Coke should mm. Coke is actually mostly just water, even though we knew that. We've actually yeah. known that for a hundred years now, I believe. I mean, I think most people knew that. Did we not? Did we all think that the Coke just came out of the ground that way? Yeah. When people said black gold, they thought they were talking about Coke and not oil. (laughs) My God. Just out the bag. It's wild to me. But it also tells me that there are people who have never worked in a fast. They've never worked in the service industry. Mm -hmm. I've switched those. I've switched those. I've lifted um, the box and I've gotten my hands sticky and your Uh hands will never feel clean ever again (laughs) after it. (laughs) I was I always think of the orange Fanta because the there was something about that. Something. That that and when I worked at the grocery store and the chicken that would like so- the juice would sop <laughs> through the backside of the stuff. Yes. Ew! I would. I would. It was. And that no. is why I'm so. I did not used to be before I worked at the grocery store. I did not used to be the person who has to like wash my hands after something sticky. But like, there's just something so there's... rancid about being like uh, the juice of the chicken is on my hands. Uh huh. Or it's 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 put itself onto other items and so you're like oh like you were expecting to like be when free I was, when i was a bagger i would fully just chicken i would just put it in its own bag wrap her up and then wrap put it up it in and another put bag. another one mm-hmm. but they don't teach baggers like i mean i sound so old right now i'm so sorry to say but i complain every time we go back home to south bend because we'll go to like the the, the grocery, grocery store, store that i worked at and I'll tell RJ, I'll be like, they don't, even, they don't even teach them how to bag anymore. You gotta build the walls, and they don't, they don't build the walls. So I, you gotta I build the walls. You gotta build the no. walls. And so I'll be like, sorry, I'll just do it. It's fine. And they're like, okay. There's some. We, yeah, we always. Year old. When we go to like Trader Joe's or wherever, we always are like, you scam. We'll we'll pack them. Don't there even. Is don't no even bother. Place worth worse on God's green earth about putting items in bags than walmart and by that i mean oh. they will put one item, one item. in a bag yes. and then take and the then bag they, and they twirl it they uh-huh, just twirl, twirl it the, they keep the going cares. it and, and then you like you we will you- leave with 87 bags and you have bought 42 items i don't know how it happens talk about or- a place that i will i will ref- not go anywhere but self-checkout I will only go to self-checkout ever. Well, luckily at our Walmart, that's all you can do. They've got one oh. checkout open for the cigarette girlies, but mm. everything else is self-checkout. Well, what are we, what are, who was it? Was it, was it one of the Austin offices posted that their local target had just blocked off the entirety of Oh yeah, I think it was free like. It was they they changed their hours. So it's like they don't open until 11 a.m. and they close at 6 p.m. Now, listen, the self I expressed checkout specifically. Yeah, I expressed my concern to a Target corporate employee this weekend. She got on that phone, honey. No, this was in first in person. I talked to her. Oh, right, right, right. Yes, yes, yes. I know who you're talking about. Now. <laughs> <laughs> and baby was baby girl was not happy she was like why are you yelling 
<laughs> it's like because <laughs> I'm sunburnt. <laughs> I'm so passionate about this topic. You have no idea, and because I go, and I am speaking for a group of six of us. Okay. Yes. I am speaking for us all. Like okay, and here's the thing: is that our last pleasure in the world is going to Target. It, and it, why are you in making the last it? days of Earth being a pla- a habitable planet? Yeah. I just want to go to Target. Just let I me just go my little go Target, Target run. Just let me and go to Target. I think I was given the like, well, maybe it's a theft thing. And I was like, oh, I sh- don't care. I don't care. Because I've seen enough TikToks of all the litigious theft people. You know, I've I've seen all the TikToks of the people getting stopped at Target for this stuff that they're um, stealing. So I know oh, that yeah. they're on the thefts. So they're don't, don't. Don't bring me into this. No, but you're trying like, to tell you set the system up. You were the you introduced self checkout. If you never wanted thefts, if you didn't want people to scan a big screen TV and use a banana as the as the item that they're scanning, guess what, girly? You should have never set self checkout up, and you need to hire more people to work the registers. Yes, girl, you want I... me to do someone else's job, and then you want to yell at me for doing someone else's job, doing but it I wrong, was not giving the trade. I was a trained no. hello no. i was That's watched like girl. a hawk i was watched like a hawk at a high v self-checkout granted this is the first time i have stepped foot in a high v in months <laughs> yeah but since they, they've paid um, you yeah but they yeah. right uh, but th- also like it is unfortunate because they do carry way more items than our shit little grocery store that we do go to so i did have to go to high v oh why are are you going there for political reasons or? Yeah, they're not great. Oh, okay. Ooh. Hi-V. Hi-V. Oh, really? They're, 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 mm, they're mm, right V mm, maybe. Mm, <laughs> Her NDA hasn't, hasn't cleared yet. <laughs> anyway, anyway, like anyway, anyway. Contestants. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I was at Hy-V self-checkout. As I went to one of the checkout stands, there were two workers. One of them was like an older lady, maybe like in her late sixties, and another one was a, a s- little lamb, a little a little boy, maybe seventeen years old. This boy then comes over to me oh. and stands next to me and watches me scan every single item. Please note, I am getting like relish, mustard, a couple energy drinks. I also had to get oh, like a red onion and some bananas. Like, it's risky. It's risky letting you just walk around freely in a grocery store. And he literally just watched me the entire time. How close was he to you? I and at, at this point, can you just scan them <laughs> since you're here? I was then. I had a basket. Okay, I didn't even have a cart. I just had a basket because I never get a cart. And I was like trying to figure out where to put it and i literally just like set it there and he goes i'll take that and i go okay great you're right here so thank you like hello hello and it was also like 9 30 a.m on like a friday i was like sir boy man anyway sir boy man Absolutely. sir boy man sir boy bam lamb so casey what do you have to say? You're on the hot seat. <laughs> what do you got for us? Anything you want to share? Listen, I've done some scamming in my days at the <laughs> self checkout, but sure. it was a different time. It, it was a different yeah, it was time. Before you found it was, you could get it was away with a lot s- more. Born again. It was yes. It was 2007, <clears throat> like 2006. You Girl, know, it was it 2017, was, honey. We know. We know. <laughs> we know. You know you do. No, no, it's okay. not. Not in my not in my adult life. In my college life, I was taking the sticker from the felt piece and putting it on other stuff. I was I was sure ripping a ripping a four dollar sports bra tag off and putting it on the twenty dollar bra at the Walmart that I needed for a special occasion. Oh, you that know is... those bras you need for special occasions. Uh huh. It was oh, yeah. these little weird cup things and <laughs> these little weird cup things. Yeah. But know you know, means. but that was that in this day and age, don't even try it. 
So, but still, it's just like, why are, if they're already so litigious, then why do they have to do the extra step of like closing down the self checkout? Because I mean, luckily, the target that's by us, the like, the one it's like walkable to us isn't at this point nothing is still nothing's locked away mm, that's good they do they do cut off we have like two you can like go to two lanes for self-checkout there's like 12 registers total for self-checkout so they will cut off to half if they only uh-huh. have like one person working because they can't watch both sides or whatever um but that's yeah really our the only school- change i've seen yeah, our targets, or at least not all the targets, but there's one target where they'll close one entrance at a certain time, and so then they'll close down those lanes. Um, but yeah, I am a drive-up girl. Like, at this sure. point, it's it's not a hobby for me anymore. So I'm like, you know what? Just like Freelac, I stick to drive-up. Mm-hmm. If I'm just getting, even if it's just four, four yogurts, bring them I, to me, girl. See, I can't do that. I have to... I have to walk. The I have to is, look. I have to is, browse. The problem is, is that you're now taking away that target joy. I yeah. the enjoyment comes from walking around yes. the target. Mm-hmm. Even discovery. It's the discovery. You yeah. Know. Then I'm like, then then I'll get my little stupid ass yogurt from somewhere else. Like anything I can get at Target, I can get. I can find at another Much establishment. Easier. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like. But it's it's Target, you know. And it's a closer like, walk anywhere else I go to get. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Target's about walking through the Valentine's candy, walking through the Easter candy, walking through the clear, the one to five dollar <gasps> area, the bullseye spot, uh-huh. yes. the bullseye yes. spot. Yes, Man. my God. Yeah. They've been popping off with some of those lately. They've had like cute little, um, like pink and yellow and green. Like to get ready for the upcoming spring, the spring pastels for spring, pastels for spring groundbreaking. Um, was there anything else we were going to talk about today? I haven't even opened the notes <laughs> <No>. today. <laughs> um, I oh, think. I was I was going to talk about one thing. I'm Please not going to talk about my Chili's experience. That was on the bean so y'all already heard it we flicked maybe the bean, I'll, it's over we flicked the bean i'll maybe i'll retell it for close friends sometime um but i had another situation this weekend where okay i won a 50 dollars gift card okay yes you to, told us to this coffee shop you told to this us this coffee yeah. shop that's the backpack people um yeah that that was the whole thing the backpack people is that we didn't get to go to the coffee shop because there was no parking right yeah. they have a second location it is on it's over by meanwhile brewing mm-hmm. where your sweatshirt's from um and so a lot more parking over there so i meet my i meet my sister and my nieces there mm-hmm. and i'm like i've got a 50 dollar gift card me and Joe are going to make sure it works and then y'all can get something to drink too once we do ours. Okay. So it's like so packed. It's like a beautiful day, Sunday. It's like 11 a.m. It's so packed. But so I get up there and I say, hey, can I use this gift card here? And she's like, oh, yeah. And so <laughs> so we order a latte, a coffee, and Joe gets a little pastry. She tries to use the gift card and, sh- and she's like, oh, it says it's not activated. And I, and she goes, did someone give you this? And I said, well, yeah. Y'all did. I, uh, yeah. I was like, well, actually, I actually, I won it from radio. I was like, I, I, I don't know if you know, but I, I named the grackle. <laughs> um, I named this. I'm so, I named- sorry. I'm not sure if you know me. I'm actually really famous. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm like, I have to explain to them how, I yes, I am the person that won the Instagram contest, so I won a $50 gift card, and the day that I got it, I didn't use it that day. Like, I, I grabbed it, and then I felt too awkward being like, well, let's use it right now, so I just left, um, because, yeah, whatever. So, I'm just now using it for the first time, and so, so then they're, like, on the phone with someone, and they end up comping our drinks. And she's on the phone with someone and she's like, yeah. And and I'm like, I can show you the conversation. So you know that I'm not just like trying to give you a, a shitty gift right. card. Mm-hmm. She's like, no, I believe you, blah, blah. And then she's, I hear her on the phone. She's like, yeah, it's it's the Instagram contest winner. And apparently we, we gave her a dud gift card. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god! <laughs> but so, so they funny. give me they give me a um they give me the business card of one of the people and managers or something, and so I've I've reached out to him and I'm waiting to hear back. But it was so embarrassing. They couldn't just give you a different gift card. They couldn't just be like they couldn't. Here. Yeah, they couldn't have just put the money on that gift card. Oh my god. Yeah, like I guess what was happening, I guess yeah, since it was they have to like load $50 on it and it, and they're loading it from like nowhere, you know? So I guess they were just like we have to have the manager do this or like I don't know what it was, but I was Seems just like sus. whatever. So <laughs> Hopefully, I mean, I got my drinks comped that time, but yeah, I'm just nice. like and the and the croissant or whatever and the, the croissant, treat. yes, okay. uh huh, yeah. We, we paid nothing, wow, for my inconvenience. But yeah. I got another gift card today because I won. Uh, so so then I won. I right. actually won another contest. What do you mean? Um, <laughs> I, I want another. Casey was like, you know, I'm scammed in my day. And I'm like, girl, the scams are still it's going. Th- this is her day. It is. <laughs> Girly- and the day was Tuesday, <laughs> <yesterday>. February 20th. Because, <laughs> okay, because I love an Instagram contest, especially a local one, you know? And and I just had to tag my Valentine and I could win $50 to, ch- to Cilantro and <gasps> $50 to Tiny Pies. Oh, and, both great. I've been to both. Iconic. <laughs> Amazing. And so um, I somehow won the giveaway. And in the mail today was my Cilantro gift card. I'm very oh. excited. Cilantro so good. You, I don't I, like my love of kava is up there. My love of Cilantro is so much higher than kava. Like, oh, my God, it's so good. I dream about it often, to be honest. Yeah. And so, so I just got the the Chalandra gift card in the mail. The tiny pies gift card. I had to go drive to get it, and so I had to go get it. And so once once I was there, I said, "Well, let's use it right now." And I That's ripped what, open yes. the thing, and it worked. So you know what? I'm I'll be. I've got. I bought one little pie, and I've. Um, little pie. I've little been pie. I've been thinking about this pie all day, so I'm gonna eat it after this. Oh, that was me. That exciting. was me after the. That was me after, and you'll hear it on Close Friends. But that was me after the Cheesecake Factory, honey. I wanted to oh. eat that leftover <laughs> cheesecake all day at work the next day. I said, "Ooh, spoiler alert! Do you want to hear, Miranda? Do you want to? Yeah, hear I have not listened to it. Yeah, oh yeah, I." Ordered a new cheesecake for the first time. In my <gasps> what was it? It was the Cinnabon Cinnabon <gasps> Dream Cheesecake. Oh, incredible. Miranda. Incredible. It is the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. <laughs> is there, you didn't leave just like a little sliver? No, honey. I wish I, I couldn't oh, have. Okay. I couldn't right. have. That's fine. But maybe, but maybe y'all but can ma- stop maybe, by. Maybe Bean will set off the fireworks, and maybe add. Maybe when you come home from the concert tomorrow, maybe there will be oh, a cheesecake factory cheesecake. Wow! Wow! You never know. You never know. You never know. But then oh. I have to take the L. Oh God! You don't need to take the L. Are you dropping us off at the concert? No, absolutely not. I'm not going no. out there and then coming back and then what? going out again and then coming back. What? So RJ has to drive me. <laughs> yeah, kidding. you might want to drive. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the yes, point. girls, that's right. S Club Seven is happening. S Club is happening. I mean, days. there's still time for them to cancel. Never say that's never. That's true. They're in. Never they're in never. New York tonight. They're in New York. Sure. They're in. They the were States. in Boston yesterday. So it's did happening. We, did one of our? Did one of our listeners so, tour the great city of Austin? Oops. We talked about this last week, and I've art and like, and I've already, it's already left my head. But someone was Casey. Now Austin. you know how I feel every time we talk about where you got the fucking floppy carrot. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's I looking around like it, for it. I know. I feel- it's it's in my little. Don't worry. I feel like it was McQuint. Someone was at in Austin this weekend when my sisters were here. My sister and my nieces were here, but. Wasn't it I a was, chilly weekend this weekend? It was very chilly. Oh, oh it, it was, was sweet ween. It was sweet ween. Oh, sweet ween. It, I knew that. 
I knew that. It's it's probably because I ate that beef this weekend and it made me sick. Oh, so my, yeah. You beef, know. The beef will do it. The beef well, the, brain. The beef and then the chilies. Ex- I mean, there's so much that happens there's over the so weekend. There's so much. Yeah. Wow. Oh, but McFuint's going this weekend. McFuint's oh, going this weekend. For a show. There you go. For a show. For a show. <laughs> For a show. For show. For Just a for show. show. What show? What show? I would always Sweet. spell for show. Sweet Wheaton is S-H-O. there Thursday through Saturday. When is South by you know, Southwest? Is that a couple weeks? It's in March, It's right? in March, yeah. It's coming Which up. is in a couple weeks. Great. Coming up soon. That means, that. guess Weird. what? That means me and RJ's anniversary and my birthday. Oh, wow. Sweet, Sweet Wheaton's on Mateo Lane. I don't and know who that Big is. Big Quint's going to see Hockey Dad. Hockey Dad. You don't, don't know, know who Mateo Lane is? No. I'm as mad about this as I was about Sabrina oh. Breyer. Who's Mateo Lane? He's a gay comedian. He's, he's very a gay comedian. Funny. And Show he's me. very attractive. Show me a he's photo. He's very attractive. Okay, hold on. I actually yes, know someone um, who dated him when he lived in Chicago. Um, I am I am well aware of Miss Bass Concert Hall because that's where we do convocation. And so the green room is really shitty. Oh. So I'm always like, I'm always like, I would hate to be a performer here because the green room is so ugly. But isn't the green I room s- like the communal area and then they have dressing rooms for the stars? I don't know if there's any dressing rooms. Are you showing me a photo of this? Man? I want to, I, I, what I am. I'm trying. I just want to, I already know what my go off is and it's kind of about the, Oh, here, this is a good photo here. Um, present share screen. Share screen. That's Mateo. Lane. Oh, okay. Yes. You I didn't know his name. TikTok. No, I've, I've absolutely yes. seen multiple things. Because of he's TikTok. friends with, he's friends with, um, the cultures. The cultures. He's friends with um, Nicole Byer. Yeah. No, I've seen lots and lots of his. Now I gotta look up who Hockey Dad is. Work on the oh, TikTok. Oh, they're a they're a oh they're a music group. They're I thought it was like a, a weird podcast. Cool band name. Yeah. Jace um, is so mad that I'm making him see Les Mis next week. <laughs> is he not like Les Mis? He's never seen it. He doesn't know. Oh. But I was like, Jace, no. when I say, what? Why are you looking at me like that? No, I'm just saying he can't. He shouldn't be mad until he's he should, experienced. He was, he, yeah, he already has like negative thoughts toward it. And I was like, but Jace, like you have to understand it is. I I think one of the. It's good. Like, quintessential it's musicals. Like yes. everybody likes it. It is like. And it moves, I, it moves so fast on stage. It's so, it's so fast. It trucks like so, along so I think quick. it's so, I don't know. I just love it. And I think that's just like, it's a show that everybody likes. Right, it's not, not polarizing. Yeah. Cats. Right. So, yeah. but he just learned wow. that. Um, he's like, oh, I, I changed my uh, flight. I get back on next Wednesday instead of Thursday. And I go, ah, that's great. Because we have tickets to Les Mis. And he's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> McFlint. 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 McFlint, wow. you do not understand. A truly derailing of this comp for us with this McFlint comp. asks question Is Six the musical good? McFlint. Yeah, we'll just, we'll go ahead and remove Casey from the stage. I'm going to eat my pie. <laughs> it's sitting here. Six the musical <laughs> Give me is a Spice Girls concert on Broadway. Mm-hmm. It is so good. It is 90 minute no intermission. I have to lead with that because that makes a show honestly iconic. Doesn't matter what show. If you're 90 minute no intermission, mm-hmm. if you can do that shit without an intermission, absolutely. It is all bangers. They are all iconic. They are all fucking built. They are all on stage doing everything for 90 minutes. It the is so are much cute. fun. Yes, the They're costumes are amazing. Mics. It's so fun. Every queen is representative of a different pop star. Every queen is a sleigh. And every queen is a queen. Like, yes. it is, I have it's seen really six five times. Well, let's not make enough. it a six. Not six. enough. It needs to be a six. Um, <laughs> yes, it's honestly incredible. How many stars do I give it out of five? Six. Six. <laughs> <laughs> Casey. Oh, oh she- <laughs> she's gone. She died. <laughs> Divorced, beheaded, died. It's good. How was I your would pie, absolutely. Casey? How was, how your was tiny it? Pie? 
I got a couple of bites in. It was pretty good. What was kind good. was it? Um, cherry. Oh. Now, McQuint asked this question because she's going to be in Chicago. <gasps> McQuint, I'm McQuint also going to be in Chicago. McQuint, the girlies McQuint. are going to be girling in Chicago in the June. Girl, when? The girlies will be American girling in Chicago in <gasps> June. What is that show? There's a show in Chicago that is pre-Broadway, but it's only, it's like, it's the one Not with Megan boop. Hilty. Boop's already closed. No, 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 oh, no, no. no. Um, but I, I think it's only like for a limited time and I don't think I was going to be able to make it. I was looking um, at tickets for us to go to something on Friday today, but I couldn't, ooh. I couldn't, I didn't want to buy resale tickets. They're yeah, like that's, overpriced. you got to go directly through. Um, maybe we can, um, There's Death a, Becomes Her. Oh, right. When does that open? Uh, that's starting out April here? 30th. Yeah. April 30th to June oh. 2nd. I mean, um, I love, Miranda, you've seen, right? Yeah. You've seen Death Becomes Her, right? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so you've seen Death Becomes Her? I've seen the movie. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. That's what yeah, it yeah. is. Okay, thank God. I mean, I think it is truly one of my top five comedies of all time. That, really? Clue, What's Up Doc. I haven't seen What's Up Doc. <gasps> What's Up Doc is so good. It's criminally underrated. Nobody knows about it. It is a, it is like a, it's like a goofy, it's like a goofy, what's that style of comedy from like the 30s? Just like zany. Like a slapstick? Kind of, yeah. Slapstick is good. It's just Lots, it, like a Lotsy. It's very classic in that way. Yeah. It's like there's a guy, there's like this bag of jewels and there's a bag of money and there's a bag of rocks and there's a bag of clothes and they all are the same bag and they're staying at a hotel and the bags get all mixed up and then there's like a whole like mafia situation. It's very funny. Mm. And it's Ryan O'Neill and Barbara Streisand. Mm. it's very fun and it has the best car chase in a movie period i've oh, said what okay. i've said wow you said what you and said. you said it here and i said it here on the pod and that's what you come here for wow so we are going to move on to the highlight of the week and every week here on did you read the group chat we are going to ask the quintessential question what is your go off it's not really what the is question that? is, but mm, we're going to yeah. talk about what has really grinded our gears this week. Okay. And I'm going to go first, except I have to remember what the fuck I just thought of to myself like 10 minutes ago when I was. It had something to do with Mateo. <sighs> oh, thank you. Yes. Yep, yep. Yep. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Adam, it is time to go off. Okay. I want to talk about Google image search. Okay. Google image search, I don't understand. If you're on your iPhone, you used to be able to like just press down on the photo and it would copy easily. Now you press down on the photo and it like highlights the photo or sometimes it'll just trick you straight to the link. I don't want to go to the link. I just want the photo. On web, on browser, you used to be able to go Google image search and then you would click the picture and it would go to the image, it would go to the web page that just was the file of the picture mm. now it just takes you to the page with every other picture that it's with on that page mm. i want just i just want to copy i just the want photo. the photo i just want the photo i just want to be able to pictorially help people understand what i'm trying to reference i don't want to have to scrub through hundreds of versions of a thing to find the one that isn't dot web p which is now what every fucking image if you say if you save an image now it saves not as a jpeg not as a png it saves as a fucking dot web p and that's yes. not a real thing <laughs> it's not real it's not real it's a it's fake a i hate it it drives me insane i have spent so much time on my phone trying to save like a like copy a meme so i could i don't want a folder of memes on my phone i don't i just want to be able to google like meme with lady and numbers and then copy the image and then paste mm -hmm. it in my tweet i don't want to have to do i don't want a folder system in my files they're already on the internet the internet is forever it's just going to be out there in the ether i just need to snag it for just a second to put it back onto the internet of which it has already come from and yet i am forced to like eh, kind of push not don't push too hard just push a little bit i Hate it. I don't want to screenshot Freelac. I don't want to screenshot <laughs> it. I just want to copy 
the image. This is not difficult. And Apple has Apple, Google, they're all working against me. I uh-huh. hate it. It drives me. Screenshots are the fucking worst because you then go, I, like then my, I have to my crop. Ent- then I have to crop it. No, and then when you're on when you're on the moment of the airplane where it's like there's nothing on the TV thing to watch, whatever you've downloaded is over, and then you go through the photos on your phone. It's that time, and I am just going through hundreds, thousands of screenshots that I have put in various group chats. And I'm like, oh my God. Like, I don't want these on my phone. Please no. understand. Screenshots should be like a 24 hour thing and then they go bye bye forever. They vanish. They vanish. Like, why are they always Unless forever it's existing? Juicy. And then you select an icon that said, this is juicy content that I need for later. Yes, there should be like a for little receipts. box. The juice. Mm-hmm. Con- yeah. Yes, the juice box. Because oh, the juice box. Love that. Because we, had, we do know people who have tens of thousands of photos in their screenshots folder on their phone. Like it's awful. I can't, I don't even want to get into it. I just, the internet is supposed to be a place of pure egalitarian democracy. Yeah. The internet it's, was made with for free, us free sharing. Free it's, sharing. Yeah. It's yeah. Like this taking point. music off of TikTok shit. It's the same thing. Like, Oh, you, Universal Music Group, girl. Like, get over it. They took down the it. sound to my, that viral stupid ass donkey video from Disney on Ice. They took down my sound and removed it, even though it was me recording it, me talking from the nosebleeds of Disney on Ice. They removed the sound because of a copyright issue. Like, hello? Excuse me. Months, years later, a year and a half later, you're going to take down the sound. Okay. And it's like, even like, I mean, not to get into Miss Swifty, but even, I mean, the TikToks that Taylor Swift has posted are now muted because it's yeah. her, it's amazing. I cannot even, like, what? Oh, it's like, the worst. The internet is stupid. This is the bad place. Also, um, I did get, place. I did get some information from a Swifty for us that I thought was interesting, at least, because... I had um I had posed this question on the pod that did um did Taylor ever go to Disney? Oh right. And Katie, our good our our girl Katie. Of course. Up, I mean oh, of we course love Katie. a Swiftie is named Katie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. She went to Disney when she was on her red tour in 2013. It was her and Ed Sheeran, because they were touring together. Yeah. And there's a picture of them on um Rockin', Tower of Terror, and the Kilimanjaro Safaris. Um, and they were probably backstage and brought out with the plaid. I don't remember hearing she that she like bought out the park or anything. She was still popular ten years ago, but obviously not what she is now. Right. Um, so yeah, so that so she has been on a couple of Disney coasters. I'm just gonna find a quick to oh, I found I think I've found it. Hold oh. on. I Let's found the photo of her on the, Tower of Terror. For the girly pops. There she is in the white. Oh, in the wow. Bag. With like a, is this like all their dancers probably? Just yeah. friends. Just a bunch of friends. Just friends. Oh, oh and, and click on the. Ed. Her click, and Ed. Yep. What Good am I clicking for them. on? This one. <laughs> that very real photo of Taylor Swift in front of Rock and Roller Coaster. <laughs> Wait, let me see. Te- Kilimanjaro Safari. What is a Kilimanjaro Tower? Oh, oh none of oh, these. No, no oh, none of no. these. No, we're not doing that. Stop sharing that. <laughs> Great. Wow. Wow. Well, thank you for that information. I'm You're glad welcome. she was able to experience. Uh huh. Experience the magic. While she could. Yeah. While she yeah. Could. No, I mean before the magic doesn't... was gone. The magic is gone. Yeah, it's just it's done. Just, just I mean, like girl, the magic is the gone magic, for me. The magic the past, is gone. The past is 60, expired. Sixty minute wait for the fucking railroad and frontier land <laughs> today. <laughs> Did you not... see the Peter Pan fast pass queue or not lightning lane queue? No, but that no. that girly is always even she's on a, a midday. She's like a, it is a, a mess. mess. She, it went all the way to the carousel and then doubled back. 
<laughs> oh my god that's also just a cast member who was like i do not care about this merge ratio i'm letting sam buy in i don't care i don't care <laughs> i i'm honestly surprised they like allowed that to happen <sighs> so funny it's but- and farts is done. Farts is Moving over. on to the next one. Or is it diet right now? Diet for, for the diet. Couple, a couple, couple of weeks. weeks. Diet Epcot. Yeah. Yep. Um. Wait. Did you guys talk about 1900 Park Fair last week? No. Oh my God, Miranda. We didn't even talk about the Wicked trailer because I was like, we're gonna That's let Miranda I was like, talk. About. I was like, oh. Clearly, this wicked note is just left like they forgot to check it off. You guys didn't oh, so even you... talk about the wicked trailer. No, because no. I said Miranda has to talk about it. You clearly didn't listen to the episode. Clearly where... didn't listen to the. No, episode, because I'm gonna so. watch. I'm gonna listen to it driving five and a half hours to Chicago. Because did you read the group chat? Is the best road trip. You could have listened to period. it on your five and a half hour flight from the fucking Dominican Republic. Bitch. I didn't have time to download it. Actually, no, I was home. <laughs> mm. I was in fact I was already home. So she was already I don't wanna, home. I don't want to listen to you while I'm home. So when you're driving, you'll, you'll listen to that. You'll listen to the Close Friends Cheesecake Factory episode that's coming out maybe, tomorrow. Maybe, 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 maybe Bean uh, will do, maybe for, not Bean, but maybe we will do for our final Close Friends of the Month, maybe we will do a deep dive into the Wicked trailer, the three mm. of us. For that sounds an, like an entire us. episode, that just seems silly. Anyway, I'll just talk about Wicked now. Great. Do we have no? We're we're too far in. We're too we're far in. We're an hour That's what I'm in. Saying. We're already too far in. Off. Be free next, not here. And by next week, it's going to be old not news. Here. Anyway, I think it's great, and all the people who are hating on it can go fuck themselves. I think it's so silly. All the bizarre takes that people have about it. They're like, that looks terrible, and I was like, how? <laughs> I don't. And if anybody else shits on. Cynthia Arrivo's riff at the end of Defying I Gravity. Can't. I can't. People you don't deserve. Oh my God. The internet needs to be taken away from you. Like, People how dare control. you say shit about her? Okay. It looks incredible and I'm excited. Okay. It yeah. was. Oh. Is I it going to be one of the greatest films of all time? No. No. Absolutely no. not. But it was never going to be because the expectations no! are too high. But it's also, just going like, to be a fun time where you sit in the theater would, and have exactly. a soprano and a mezzo belt at you. Okay? Exactly. You get to see all the pretty fucking colors and the costumes and the cinematography and SpongeBob on TV and Cynthia Revo. Like, I'm also, sorry. Also, like, people being like, um, people being like, oh, they're too, they're too old. Bitch. You Shut all watch up. Ben Platt in I Dear Evan Hansen, also, the film. It's not that. Like, people were like, didn't we learn this last time? Ben Platt literally, the reason it was a problem be- was because they are trying to do, like, full realism with that movie. Like, they are trying to be like, this is a real teenage boy. There is yes. nothing real about Wicked. Your problem no! is that they don't look like college students, but th- even though the the green girl flies halfway <laughs> through the movie, I don't understand. <laughs> why They're on their way so- to see a wizard with a coward, like, and there's a cowardly <sighs> lion involved in some way. Oh my god. Ugh, whatever. whatever. Anyway, that'll be my go off. Great. Did you do one, Casey? I don't even remember. No. It's um, oh. Oh, Casey, go off. Go ahead, okay. go off, girl. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> we just, uh, you don't need to. Oh, so please. So- <laughs> just, if you don't have to go been, off, then don't. It's just been a lot tonight. Learning about my my Pepsi situation. Possibly, <laughs> there's a lot on my plate right now. Um. Here's my go off. Um, <laughs> if you, I'm so worried about you. Uh, why are you emailing me? Um, two questions I'm not. per oh, email. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Emailing me two questions per email about the easiest fucking, the easiest fucking project I could ever assign. And then, and then when once you finally have all your answers, oh, it's four o'clock. I'll I'll do it when I'm in on. <laughs> Thursday. It's like you could have messaged me these. I sent it to you at 9 a.m. this morning. But oh, now that I've answered all your questions at 4 p.m., the uh, I'll, I'll get to it on Thursday. 
So you're telling me it's not pressing. So you're bothering me when you don't need to. But it, it's like, oh, what what did you want me to do? Oh, you know, the highlighted items in this list that's in this email. I would like you to put those on the thing. And and he's like, which items? <laughs> so oh my I, God. Just, I just copy and paste them from the email. Oh, and I say, no. it's the highlighted ones. And they're still highlighted because, oh, thanks. They weren't, they weren't coming through highlighted. And I'm like, are you colorblind? Colorblind? <laughs> like. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm just, you know what? And it's, and then at the end of the day, if you're not going to get to it today, just don't tell me that. Just say, okay, thank Got you. It. Thanks. Got it. Like, I don't, like, it's like you waited until 345 to ask me questions in three different emails. When I sent it to you this morning, you said on it. And what were you doing not all day? <laughs> what were you doing all day? That's all. I don't like being a supervisor. So mm. there we go. That's T. That's hard. And I, it's, the, it's the easiest things. So I, I'm like, I don't miss it. I had I, an email, a situation today that I was annoyed by where the person I work for was like, please send this email that says this. And I said, okay, sent. And I even have, I have set up my Outlook so that it has a 10 second delay <gasps> so that I can undo. And it sits at the bottom and says sending. And you can press undo in case you. Ooh, like, that's iconic. Usually. Usually, I like forget to actually put in the attachment. That's usually my issue. And then I go, mm-hmm. oh, fuck, I haven't done the attachment. So I'll have to undo it and then add it back in. So it goes, 10 seconds, sends. And then he goes, can you also ask this? And I was like, <laughs> I, I was like, I'll ask when they reply. I'll ask when yeah. they reply. I'm yeah. not double I'm not double emailing. No, I'm not no. double emailing. No. I'm not doing that. I, it's, it, it's, it's so frustrating whenever like, I'm like super on top of things and and I get those are like, hey, we need to go ahead and send this out. And then they're like, oh, did you already send that out? Yes. You told because me you to. Because you asked me to. So Hello? it's gone. It's done. It's, like, the action has been completed. I just like, that's what I don't understand. I was like, over half of my job is like me doing something and having to wait for other people in order for me to follow up with that. And I was like, why are there so many of those people in the world when the three of us here, there are three of us who are the other type of people? Like, yeah. I just don't, I just don't understand why there are so many people who need to be followed up with multiple times mm-hmm. to try and get things. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. infuriating sometimes. Mm-hmm. It's not great, love. It's not. It's not great. It's not great. Nor. So, because I got a new title, and every day I feel like they they just chip add a little bit more to that title. And, and what's like, the title, mm-hmm. Queen? What is Duchess? It? Okay, Countess. Duchess Assistant Assistant Director of mm-hmm. Communications. Absolutely. Absolutely. And did that title come with uh, a fatter little check? Yeah, I mean she's. I mean she's not. She's not. Um, maybe <laughs> like a, a big. You don't need to say. She's. she's I want to know pre taxes how much yeah. you make at your job on on pod. <laughs> she may wait. Oh. Send me your tax form. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, send me your W two. <laughs> what What did they used to call? Um, what they used to call at McDonald's if you if the if you wanted to make your fries big, super size, super size. She's not super size, but she is a little mighty kids meal. You know, okay. she's she's she was a little jump. a mighty kids meal. So oh it was my a happy God. meal before. You were not. Yeah. That's not great. <laughs> I was happy meal. Now I'm mighty kids meal. Maybe one day I'll get that super size. I think there's a couple yeah. steps in between a super size yeah, and a mighty kids meal, but that's just I You've think got, that's like, just small me. Small and big yeah, and right. Large on the <laughs> yeah, way, but, yeah so. let's get out of the kids menu here. Oh yeah, yeah. a Wendy's Biggie. Uh huh. Oh, we yeah. have not gotten to Biggie yet. Mm-mm. That Biggie yellow cup. Oh, oh I love yellow. I love nineties oh, Wendy's. I, I will say I miss um, fast food place paper bags that were colors that weren't all brown. Every fast food place now, their bag is brown and like brown. maybe has like just the color of the logo. Yeah. Whereas like back in the day, McDonald's bags were white. Oh yeah, I remember that. 
Yeah. I miss that. Bleach the paper. (laughs) Bleach the paper. Bleach the paper. Come on. All right. right, That's enough of this. Did Miranda go off? Miranda went off. Yeah, I went off about Wicked. I had other things to go off about, but you know what? I'll stick to one. I complain a lot. It's true. It is. Yeah, and Miranda, you shouldn't complain because you know what? Wow. (laughs) Tell me. Why? You... Because, you know, you're just... <laughs> because. Because you're living Period. the lap of luxury in Des Moines, Why? Iowa. Yeah. Why? You're you're shooing away the Girl Scouts. You're... <laughs> hey, we have a Girl Scout cookie wine event coming up. I hope you bought lots of cookies. I will. I'll buy cookies from them there. And we will buy from Jace's goddaughter. Um, I just haven't yet. Oh, so you haven't, you haven't procured the cookies yet? Well, the event's not for another two weeks, and the girlies are going to be there. Oh, the girlies will be there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just make it. I'm just. I'm just looking out for We're my. Gonna, for my. The, for my the own. The troops are going to be supported. All right. I'm is gonna, there. A, is there a master psalm that's pairing the? Yes. The perfect. Yes. No notes. Yep. And yep. I'm very. I. I will report on close friends the pairings that you can get at your local grocer. That pair perfectly with your Girl Scout cookies. Great. There are five of them, and I don't know which ones. I'm not involved in that. And they're all um, Arbor Mist. It's every flavor <laughs> of Arbor Mist one. Yeah. Yep. Uh huh. <laughs> no, I'm saying I don't know what uh, cookies we're oh, using. Oh, great. My, my grandma's, um, God rest her soul, she's um, not with us anymore. My grandma, sh- she had a boyfriend in her later years. And um, and he would always drink cold duck. Oh, the like you know shitty, the real shitty. There's like another one that's kind of like that. Um, yeah, I've never heard of that. It's that's it's funny. called cold duck, but it looks like Andre maybe maybe because there's a Andre duck. cold duck, but it's just like maybe just like a sparkling wine or something. But anyways, he would he would always. Does cold duck wine still exist? Um, I guess it's an Andre. Like wow! But anyways, if, I, if I see it at the next time I'm out and about, maybe I'll try one. Well, just to one time, report. yeah, one time um, we played a joke on my grandma, um, and because people like it, she lives out in the woods, and so like when sometimes we'd come in and she wouldn't be there, and like she'd leave us a note as to where she was. We get there one time and she's not there. So we decide to play this joke where we got out the cold duck um, and a glass and we like poured a little bit into the glass. And then we wrote a note that said like, hey, Dina, just missed you. See you soon. And then we signed it from her boyfriend. And then when she got home, she was like, why would he leave this out? (laughs) And it was I so. Were gonna, I thought you were going to be meaner of the note that no, you left your grandma. Was, <laughs> no, it was just a very stupid. Like it was the dumbest like tr- trick or joke in the world. But we thought we were so fucking clever. We were like, let's get out the cold duck. She'll know he was here. Oh, that's funny. he can't he can't live without that cold duck. I think the best grandparent prank these days have been uh, Christmas time when all of the grandkids have taken something from the grandparents' house and has wrapped it and they're all going around the circle opening it up and the grandparents are always like, oh, wow. Oh, and I then have they're like, like that. I have that. And then they finally figure it out. It's so funny. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Great. Well, <laughs> that's that's it for us this week. That's the show. Tune in next week when RJ's back. Um don't forget to follow to join us over here on Close Friends at Patreon.com. Close friends, yeah. slash we'll post lots when I come to Chicago this week. Group chat mm-hmm. pod. Because we'll um, have our social is, media you, strategist. Where did you read the pod at on Instagram? Right? On Instagram, but what's the Patreon? Uh Patreon. did you read the group slash, chat? Did you read the group chat? Did you read chat? the group chat? The name of the group the name of the podcast. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We're so I mean, honestly, we're so good at branding. It's kind of crazy. We're Honestly, how are we not top 10 podcasts on How does Joe Apple Rogan podcasts? keep beating us? How, how are we How do we only have such a small following? Who's to say? It's small but mighty. 
It, mm-hmm. They are they are a mighty group. Mighty, and you know what else is mighty? Kids mighty is, kids meals. Mighty kids My kids salary, paycheck. kids meal salary. <laughs> all right, goodbye. Enough goodbye. of this. Bye. Goodbye. We love you all. Goodbye. Thank you.